Hey YouTube, it's Paul Winner again. You may have already seen my previous videos about my HD2 rooted with various ROMs. Well, today I just installed the Darkstone Froyo Stone version 3.1. So let's go ahead and have a little run through with that. Now, you will need to have first installed a custom Windows Mobile ROM or the HSPL3. So you have to make sure you have those running on the phone first before you begin the Android process. Anyways, um, I installed Energy's um, Windows Mobile custom ROM. Uh, I have seen pretty good uh, performance on this ROM otherwise. Um, I haven't really used anyone else's because they just didn't couldn't compare to Energy's ROM. All right. So let's press the home screen to get out of that. Just wait for it to boot up. Alright. Now, to boot into Android, from here we press the start menu. Go to Total Commander or any sort of file explorer. And uh, whenever you see a folder called Android, right here, right there. You always have to delete it. For some reason, uh, the Android build just bugs up whenever there's uh, an Android folder in there, so I would just recommend just deleting that. I'm not sure how the ROM, this new ROM, will react to that um, Android folder. Like in the previous videos, um, I recommended deleting that folder, so I'm not sure how it'll react to that, but let's just take it on the safe side. Alright, so you're going to have to run your CLR CAD first and then within 10 seconds run the Herit program. Alright. So if you're going to first, if this is a first installation, you're going to have, you're going to see this screen for quite a while. I thought my phone was just being retarded and uh, it just sat at the screen for about 10 minutes but um, that's because it has to create a data partition on the SD card. It has to make a data, data image. Um, this, uh, this ROM came originally with 256 megabytes of uh, data that the Android could run off of, but I went ahead and deleted that, so the ROM will create one gig of storage. So that's a lot more than 256, obviously. So that way I can install more applications, stuff like that. Now the boot up does take quite a while actually. Alright, so uh, let's just go ahead and skip to some of the basics of this ROM. It is a 2.2 .2 version Android phone. Um, it is kind of like the HTC Desire or the HTC Evo ROM, except without the 4G, obviously. So, it's going to be a black screen like this. I thought my phone was being retarded, but it does this. It just goes black, and then eventually the HTC Brilliant, simply or quietly brilliant thing will pop up anytime soon. So, I don't like that about this new build. Uh, usually, I like to see all those white, um, all those uh, white letters and numbers popping up, so that way I know my phone is reacting. So there you go, HTC quietly brilliant. And it has the HTC Sense UI installed. If you don't like that, just go ahead and install a launcher different launcher like Launcher Pro or ADW Launcher if you like the stock look. Slide to unlock. Now the HTC Sense does take a while to load up and this is the first reboot so I went ahead and did the initialization phase to just get past all that stuff the sign-in phase whatever you want to call it. So as you can see, just swipe it. It seems a little bit more smoother compared to the other 2.2 previous ROM. Um, 
All right, so let's go to settings. About phone. Uh, software information. Android 2.2. Right there. All right, so let's turn up the brightness just a little bit. Seems a little dark. Just a little bit. Or not. Just yeah, right there. Alright, so now you can see a little bit better. Alright, so there is seven home screens. Smooth scrolling is very smooth as you can tell. And HTC has provided plenty of widgets. Um, let's just go ahead and look through all of them. Alright, you just hold your finger down and then go to the widget tab. What's it doing? Oh, my finger was on it, that's why. Alright, so, yeah, there you go. Whole bunch of widgets. All customizable. Do whatever you want to do with it. I'm not going to go into too much detail about that. Go to your phone, and you just dial a number. And eventually a number will pop up. One of your contacts will pop up. Cool feature about that, just like the Samsung Vibrant. Well, actually the Samsung Vibrant copied that, sort of. So, just scrolling around in there. You can press the menu button to import or export all your contacts. View, delete, add contacts. Um, let's go to the messaging messages. Alright, so it's the HTC keyboard. I really like this keyboard. It, um, if I didn't have swipe, then I would use this keyboard definitely. Let's see if there's any more keyboards. Probably not, but you can probably find swipe off somewhere. Um, yeah, then no, no swipe. All right, let's go to the internet. Let's see how fast this is. Now I'm on a weak Wi-Fi connection, so pages load pretty quickly. That's good. Let's go to Yahoo. and loads pretty quickly actually I usually get really weak Wi-Fi signal up here um, yeah I still do but pages still render very quickly there you go let's go to in gadget Yep, and pages render very quickly from there. All right, what else is there? Now, there is the Wi-Fi hotspot feature. It basically turns your phone into a wireless router. As long as you have the T-Mobile 3G plan, then this will work. If you don't have the 3G plan, then it will not work. So you can put a password, security, stuff like that. Um, there's a little flashlight thing right here. Yep, three is the maximum. One, two, three. Right. And uh, there's uh, maps right there. Music player right here. It's HTC's own little music player. Pretty cool. I like it compared to I like Samsung's and this one if you saw my other videos you would know but anyways um, let's go to the videos uh, nothing really in there it's just stuff you can just scroll around alright and that's pretty much it on this end uh, this clock you just leave that as an alarm clock pretty neat if only like there was a dock that you put sideways then it would be cool but anyways yes that is pretty much it on this side um, so yeah this is the Android 2.2 Darkstone version 3.1 and uh, please subscribe to Podwinner1 if you want to keep up with the latest updates about uh, custom ROMs with uh, various 
phones. This is Paul Winter. Please subscribe.